Hi, welcome to the episode of Plus Studios and Vlogs. I'm William. On today's video, we're going to tackle the problems of the K27025 in the braking department. Actually, it's already been done. I wasn't going to do an intro showing all the parts that we're going to get uh, installed, but things didn't go as planned and the intro that I shot didn't turn out so well. Actually, there were something was wrong with the GoPro or something. I don't know what happened, but so it's already been done. So I'm just going to show you and edit things in. Uh, yeah, you'll see. It's going to be a little bit different kind of video, but it'll be fine. So check this out. So what we have here is a Citroen Xara brake booster. This was the plan to put in, but that turns out that one didn't really fit because this is the, also the Citroen Xara VTS uh, master cylinder. And as you see, the bolt holes are like you know, staggered, so it's like it's it's a bit off. Which is not really a big deal, but the thing is, the one that I've got, this is from a Peugeot 406 Cube, the V6 model. It, it's about the same size as the 1.9 GTI ones, but bigger internals. As you can see, these are straight, so if I'm going to use that one, uh, it's going to be crooked, which is, of course, not what you want. So, uh, yeah, as you can see right now, we installed this, and this is probably going to solve most of our problems, because... The master cylinder of the old one was blown out. I cooked it, unfortunately, but too bad. But those things happen. And this thing is fine. We also replaced all the all the fluids and uh, swapped the lines around. And these are down the two fronts and the other ones are the rears. That turned out to be better. For road cars, it's, uh, PSA cars use uh, the crossed size, but for track cars, this way is better. Sound shaking, earth quaking, changing. Also, the thing we put in 
was probably the most important bit because that was gonna this thing always gonna give a little bit issues by not having it. This is really expensive, but this is the brake uh, bias uh, switch. This is like co completely open, so it has maximum uh, uh, brake pressure to the rear, and now you can adjust it to the front. This is almost no brake pressure at the rear. And this is completely open. Of course, it's open because we had to bleed it. Uh, it's actually a two-channel one, so uh, or four, depends how you look at it. It has two lines in, two lines out. Uh, these are like pretty expensive because of that, uh, but that's needed. But I wasn't gonna change it to a single line system because my entire car was already for uh, a twin line system. So this is why this thing is chosen. It's a QSP, as you can see, but it's probably a brand name. So I've seen the exact same ones uh, with different names on it. But this thing is a quality piece. It's actually looks really nice. Um, yeah. Other than that. As you can see, you put the brake lines back in, everything is working fine. And, uh, yeah. 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 Ah! <laughs> there you go, I thought that was the Oh, yeah. Ik heb wel een bijtje in plaats van zo'n lijn. As you might have spotted, I had to, to drop the, the gear, of the, well, the, uh, the shifter out, because to make some room for this one. Uh, it's very tight fit to put it back in, but it's not going to be an issue. Put it there, put it back in tomorrow probably, and uh, you'll see how it works out. Now, being underneath the car, as you can see, the double line system I still needs to attach it a little bit, uh, because, you know, that's how it goes. Now you can see it has the two lines in, two lines out. This is actually quite neat, and now I have to reattach everything because the fuel lines are also coming from here. And uh, this will hopefully will be the solution to all my braking problems. And if the brakes are all fine, which I hope they are, you know, then it's time for some power mods. Boy, and tires. And I have to uh, fix that little bit of rubbing that I have left. Well, that won't be an issue. And after all the brakes were bled, um, you know, it was time to put everything back in. So uh, now you see me and Sil putting back the gear lever in, of the gear linkage, you know, stuff like that. And um, yeah, that was a bit of a faff annoying because these two extra lines and the thing was in there, but 
It wasn't that big of a deal. We got it done. And as you can see here, it's all in. This thing is mounted correctly. This thing is in. Of course, the the, the lever is still off, the shifter. But uh, because I'm going to make a new stick for it, but so it's not on right now. But uh, yeah, clean the shit up. I'm going to do that later on. Remounted uh, the switch panel, and uh, yeah. Also, oh yeah, I also drew, took off this little edge so the wheel doesn't hit anymore. So, with that all stuff back in, time to end this video. Hopefully, I will be able to test this thing I know, pretty quickly, but I'm not sure about that. This weekend will be something very important, so let's wait for that first. But uh, other than that, that's the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Like and subscribe once more, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Play the zone. So, thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. And talk to you about more, you can click on one of these two videos to see, uh, see, see some more from the channel. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Later.